uh, let me update the scores. It's not already over. <laughs> okay, so first match, it's going to be Bix versus Hakuman. Both players have participated to previous iterations of the Brojo Cup. I'm really thrilled to see them play today. An early, uh, a very early Yozon. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Thank you very much for the follow, Schmuckus, and welcome to the Brojo's. Starting with Baikin, exactly, exactly. And a very, very violent Baikin at that. Hakuman is a crazy good Baikin player. He is the one that you want to keep eyes on, especially during this tournament. And uh, as you can see, Bex is definitely not to be trifled with at all. He's a very strong soft player, not, not worried to press buttons to get his uh, turn back. And just like this, as I say this, Bex takes it extremely convincingly. It's Hakuman. Saw their names on YouTube video. Ah, that's good to hear. My man Hakuman is starting to get uh to get some cloud. He's starting to get uh to get the fame coming at him. That's good. That's actually a very, very good thing to hear. You can see, look at the sick conversion though that Bex just got right there. He's gonna get the wall break into the soft knockdown. Very, very strong start of the second round right there for him. There we go, and just this just far essing his way through the tatami gaishi and even gets a cross under for the first match win very nicely done by bix that was actually pretty sick though <laughs> oh my lord very 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 nicely done cam on ingerland <laughs> okay here we go anyways let's go back in yes let's go back in but let's go bex as well i want to see some bex action as well bex is very very hy hyped all the time so it's always a pleasure to see him play First game is always data. It is, it is, it is. Exactly. Yeah, it is data. Hakuman tends to uh, adapt his opponent a lot, so he tends to lose the first the first match pretty often, but he does uh, he does uh tend to ah uh, he does tend to uh, adjust with uh with the rest of the matches. Ah, uh, but unfortunately for him already he's in the corner. And you can see Bix again trying to force his way through the top of me guys, not giving a single flick. A single, a single F. <laughs> oh my lord, and the cheeky fully charged burst right there from Hakuman. Really well done. He forces the burst and Bex not worried about any type of normal that might come his way. He just freaking, he runs straight towards Hakuman and just presses button. That's how it's supposed to be. Okay, here we go. Oh, and Baikin, well not Baikin, Hakuman with the strong read, the hard reads right there. Oh, and just the week of DP with Bex just just sawing his way through it. <laughs> really well done by Bex. Okay, here we go with Hakuman. Oh, okay, finally uses the Shibari to. Oh, well, but that was a bad use of the counter right there. Very nicely baited by Bex. He gets a huge counter hit a combo right there. This is going to do a lot of damage. Hakuman forced to burst and is baited by Bex. That was a quick second match as well. Bex definitely on fire right now, man. I bet all my points. Yo, Aji, how are you doing, man? <laughs> how are you doing, man? Long time no see. It's great to have you here, man. With the wake up Dr. Pepper. <laughs> exactly, the wake up DP, man. That Dr. Pepper that everybody loves. How are you doing, man? It's been a long time, man. We should hang out, you know, the, what's it called? The lockdown is over and we definitely should should uh, plan something out, man. Anyways, let's go back and exactly. Kampeki na bahas to yomi. Sore ya, so desu. Hai, oshar osei no tori desu. Mo, Bex-san, su atsui desu ne, kyo. Dou natte kore dou natte ni ka shou ka ne, kore kara. Hakuma-san wa dou ni ka Okay, and just like this, Hakuman got the Shibari. He will need to do stuff in order to... Ah, oh my lord, and the early burst from Hakuman. Thankfully for him, he was able to get the gold burst, so that means more tension bar for him and more opportunities for him to try to open his... Open it up. It really, really depends on him. Oh, but yeah, that also means that he doesn't have any burst and the wake up. The wake up overdrive from Akuma not giving an F at all. Here we go with the Kabadi conversion. Okay, he tries to bait the burst, but Bix not biting, just delaying is slightly to be able to actually hit his opponent. Here we go with the wild throw into the Roman cancel. Oh, and go, my lord! The Hakuma is going with the Yosansen series, man. That was pretty sick, man. Well played, well played. Come on, Hakuma, you got this. Exactly. Trust in you. You have the, uh, you have the theme of the, uh, 
of, of Ginyu, uh, Ginyu Special Force playing right there. The, the, the one from Dragon Ball Fighters, that is. You have to listen to it and to get your stuff rolling. Okay, this is not working out for him. <laughs> this is definitely not working out for him. Here we go with the big Tyrant Wraith and takes it with a perfect the big statement from Biggs. Not giving an F. This is probably the third time I'm seeing this. And Biggs just trying to... Oh my lord! And the vortex goes... It didn't even go underneath... Um, underneath the tatami guy she just just too quick for it to actually uh hit the uh, active frames believe in me that believes in you that believes in me believing in you <laughs> exactly oh my lord and the conversion from bex man look at the damage where did your life go bro where did it go where did it go oh my lord and hakuman on, on his last legs right now he absolutely needs it but this looks really really <laughs> my lord like I'm, I'm big. I'm literally begging the game not to kick anybody out. Please work, please. Oh my lord, we did it! We did it! <laughs> okay, we on to the next battle. It's gonna be SSRB against Ken Ken San. I do not know. Uh, it's the first participation of SSRB. I do not know uh, his style of play. I do not know his um, level of expertise with RAM. But I do know that Ken Ken is a very 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 good geo player so it's gonna be all on ssrb to try to contain this crazy hur hurricane that ken ken is and just speaking of hurricane we have the ventania right there for the win well played by ken ken he takes this first round extremely convincingly <clears throat> and here we go with the six speed anti-air from ken ken san puts ssrb in the corner but ssrb trying to resort to use the overhead from uh, Ram in order to uh, try to close the gap and also push Ken Ken ever so slightly out of the corner but yeah Ken Ken just making all good good reads right there and even gets a wall break oh very nice jump uh, HS right there from SSRB puts Ken Ken in the corner still no burst ah finally the burst has been uh, has been um, forced upon Ken Ken very nice conversion from Ken Ken uh, forces the burst on SSRB as well oh and that 6p was a crazy good first round goes to ken ken extremely convincingly very nicely done az how you doing and here we go with the land the king of fighters 15 guitar omega rugel ah that's the rugel theme i actually haven't heard it so that's actually very very welcome right there the first match goes to ken ken doing good that's good to hear Okay, and moving on to the next battle, Grinding Cough 15 Blade. Yeah, I can I can tell by your choice of, uh, of songs, yeah. <laughs> I could definitely tell. Okay, and moving on to the second match of this encounter. Oh, oh my lord, okay, SSRB having some uh, sub-characters right there. Let's see if his choice of using Milia is going to pan out. Good for him in the end, unfortunately for him, he gets, uh, he gets the hit out of the air thanks to the 2D of... Uh, Giovanna, oh, here we go, the air to air counter hit in favor of SSRB. Okay, both opponents don't have any burst anymore. The one who gets open is going to have to deal with some amount of damage. Very nice cross, double cross up actually from SSRB. Oh, no, he died, didn't get the confirm. This is unfortunate for him, and he gets hit by a... Uh, well, a uh, completely charged dust right there, but Ken can dropping the, uh, the, the, well, the, the, the spike of the dust right there, unfortunately for him. It's not going to benefit from a hard knockdown. Oh, here we go. You can see Ken can trying to use the uh, Nasanti right there to try to, uh, to hit Melia out of the air, but unfortunately for him, SSRB staying very nimble, very, um, very, uh, slippery right there. Was able to not get hit by it. Well, this change of character definitely working extremely well in favor of SSRB. I would even wager that uh, this Melia is the uh, main character of SSRB, but just as I say this, commentator curse, <laughs> SSRB gets open left and right in the corner. Okay, very nice uh, ID right there from SSRB and the awareness of Ken Ken with his 6P right there. That was really well done and the delay to S for the win. Very nicely done. Now let's see how this pans out. Oh, and again, the 2D counter hit from Ken Ken finds the opening. And oh, and that backdash into the grab from SSRB. Really well played right there. Uses the invincibility frames of the backdash to, uh, well, to evade the meaty 
of Ken Ken and then grabs him out on his recovery. Very nicely done. And just like this, Ken Ken, though, with the RC blue combo right there, does a huge amount of damage, well, all things considered. Again, with the 2D right there. This time around, SSRB finds the way to a block, but it wasn't, uh, well, unfortunately, for due to the lack of health of Melia, well, the lack of health overall that SSRB had, he wasn't able to survive the uh, following combo and uh, ended up losing this match. Very nicely done by Ken Kendo, takes the second match of this encounter. Let's see if uh, SSRB has a third. Actually, he does have a third. <laughs> oh my lord. SSRB is going to go through all every single character of this uh, of this game. Let's see if he finally finds something. If it's going to work out for him this time around. Never two without three. That's how we say it in French. Oh, and that clash goes in favor of SSRB. Oh my lord. Here we go. The jumping to K for the opening. He's going to get the Alpha Blade into the wall break. Very nicely done. Oh, here we go, the red cow right there, faster than the two, the, the, the HS of Ken Ken. Just like this, he's gonna get the Fujiyama into the, into the win, actually. Very nicely done. Oh, to -toy, come on! Okay, how is this going to pan out? Uh, oh my lord, just walk him, just run straight and do 6 speed. Very nice read from Ken Ken, seeing that uh, SSRB was going to resort. Oh my lord, the clash on the DP, that was pretty OD. But Ken Ken with the conversion, oh, unfortunately he drops, he drops the uh, Trovao, I believe it's called. Oh my lord, and the uh, jumping HS, that did a huge amount of damage, I encounter hit especially. Okay, let's see if, oh, here we go, the use of Ken Ken to try to see what were the options of SSRB at the beginning of, after the Wolverine, again, the successful burst bait from ssrb put finally puts one on the board very nicely done by him that uh, last burst bait sequence was actually pretty od very nicely done by him let's see if uh well basically if uh, he can continue continue this trend and put another one on the board we shall see okay moving on to the fourth actually fourth battle right now let's see oh my lord this this is uh, actually pretty hype yeah, SSRB doing a nice job of, uh, well, adapting to Ken Ken, basically. Oh, here we go. Oof. Again, Ken Ken using a lot of 6Ps, man. And it's just working out so well with for him. That wasn't a safe jump, Ken Ken. I'm sure that if uh, Exxon was here, would have told you exactly the same. It is not a safe jump against Chip and, um, and Sol's DP. Oh, here we go with SSRB. Oh, my lord, mixing up his... Mixing up his, uh, oh my, oh, and just slipping a, a command grab right there. This did a lot of mad damage, but SSRB just using the, oh, just smashing that DP, oh, and this should do. Oh, no! Ken Ken got a little bit too excited again with the quick dust for the win. Very nicely done by, uh, well, by Ken Ken, basically. Very nicely done. Oh, here we go again, the 6P for the punish, that was extremely well done. Here we go with the flip kick, but unfortunately for Ken Ken couldn't get out of the corner because this SRB uh, prevented him from doing so. Oh, and that flip kick, oh my lord, the cross, the crossover into the flip kick, very nicely done. Oh my lord, SSRB going ham right there, and again Ken Ken with the cross up into the flip kick, really working well for him. Surprise! Ah, uh, here we go. Ken Ken smelling blood. Smelling blood and finally finds the opening. Ken Ken takes it 3 2. Rocking the freaking testament. This is a match I am definitely looking forward to see. And it'll sound rocking the Kai. Uh, I do believe I probably had the privilege of uh, fighting Edo uh, on the Tenjo, uh, Tenjo Kai. Probably I did. Anyways, here we go on to the first, uh, on to the next battle. Moriusan usually rocks Axel. Morisan fight though, and here we can see that Morisan has some uh, support in the, uh, in the, uh, well, in the, what's it called? In the chat, I'm really glad to see this because Morisan is such a really, really hype Axel player. Let's see how it goes with Testament. Here we go to wake up DP though, to deny that 6 HS from Moriu by Edo. Or you go with Edo doing some very Kai like things, <laughs> just running straight and trying to grab you. <laughs> here we go with the food red arc. Very nicely done by Edo, Sotora is gonna get the wall break. 
Oh, and here we go, my lord. That emergency. That emergency 6p right there finds it, finds the hit. And just like this, Edo manages to take the first round. Oh, and just walk up 6p from Moryu. He gets the taint state. And just like this, this enables him to continue his pressure. Oh, my lord. And that big frame trap. That was crazy. Go to my lord. And Edo not afraid to just walk. Not walk, but just... Freaking runs her in 6p, man. Testament is tough. Yeah, she is. she's rough. She's very rough, yeah. I actually tried to to play her and stuff. I did manage to bring her to the Celestial, but my winning rate is, like, really, really awful with uh, with them. And I just can't... I, I don't think she's tournament viable right now. I hope that Samuel Yusan is going to prove me uh, the opposite. Oh, my lord. Nope, he will not. Oh, and the, oh, the Stun Dipper right there. Oh, and here we go with Moryu San using there. Oh, that was crazy good. No, they could have taken just run up straight grab by Moryu San. Really well done. It was crazy good. Very nicely done by Moryu. Thank you very much for the follow game scrub and welcome to the bro Joes. Okay, here we go. Oh, that part S finds its mark, was able to, oh, almost got the detained state. That's unfortunate for Morisan couldn't quite get it. Here we go with the pressure. The pressure, the endless pressure. Finally, the grab by Edo-san doing some very high like things. This time around, Moryu could read the uh, grab, but unfortunately for him, Edo had uh, had means to uh, Roman cancel and make his whiffed grab attempt safe. And this wake of 6p. Oh, here we go with Edo Setora. Look, I, I feel like he's uh, he knows the matchup. Very nicely done by him. He takes the first match. So, uh, with this result, is Moryu going back? Is is Moryu uh, going to proceed to a character change? He does have the right uh, since he lost this match right here. As you all know, Moryu-san is a very good Axel player. He might... Okay, he decides, he decides to stick with... Uh, with um, with Testament. Okay, I, I, I definitely respect this, uh, this decision. But yeah, Testament, I want to see Testament... A B tournament viable. I want people to prove me wrong. I want people to uh, show me that uh, Testament is actually tournament viable. So let's hopefully see that it it, uh, it it pans out. Hopefully it will. Here we go with the start of the round. A big counter hit immediately forces Moryu into using their burst. Oh, and the air to air right there in favor of Moryu still with their. Uh, Okay, Edo, ah, Edo Setora finally finds the opening. He got Moryu in the corner again with the uh, tick throw. Oh, and the cheeky attempt to get a fully loaded dust right there. He definitely knows, Edo definitely knows the matchup. He knows that uh, Testament is very weak to 6Ps. Oh, and here we go with the Stun Dipper. Ah, he could have gone a little bit too late on the conversion, but it's okay. He did catch Moryu-san off guard. Oh, and that was unfortunate for him, for Moryu-san. A little bit too far to get the overdrive to connect. And just like this, Edo-san puts another one on the board. Well, another round, that is. Oh, and the 2S right there for the opening. Oh, that late 6 HS, unfortunately, a little bit uh, too early, actually. A little bit too early. Couldn't quite get Edo on wake up. And Edo with the onslaught. Oh, that that freaking zoning, endless zoning, and D2D for the opening. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Here we go with the, uh, the fireball to try to contain Moryu, but Moryu is on trying to find, make his way ever so slightly out of the corner. And again, the 6P all, almost found its mark. Very nice use of the uh, 6HS from Morisan. Couldn't quite get the conversion and gets grabbed himself. And just like this, this should do. Yeah, this is going to do very nicely done by Edo. Puts another one on the board. This is 2 0 in favor of Edo. Is Morisan still not going to, uh, well, entertain the idea of potentially going back to his axle? We shall see. We do not know. Oh, my lord. This is really, really hype. I think that. What is it going to be? Is Moryu-san going to... I think Moryu-san is going back to Axel. I'm pretty sure he is. I am pretty sure he is going back to his Axel. Let's see how it goes. Ah, uh, yeah. uh, my, my icon. I can see his icon. I think he went back to Axel. And he did. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. This is my true form. This is my true power. <laughs> 
Here we go. Moriusai is going to unleash the beast right now. This is beastly, Axel. Let's see how it pans out. But Ido, definitely no slouch at all. I can tell that he's a very good player. It's I think it's his first participation today. But so far, so good. Morisan finding the opening right now. Oh, here we go with the trade. Well, actually, no trade. It's Oh, and here we go. Morisan is his trademark. Roman, not Roman, just his uh, trademark. Um, how do you call it? Um, special grab, special grab, command grab. I'm sorry. I'm losing my English. I'm not English. I'm not an English speaker, by the way. Anyways, here we go with Edo Setora finding the opening right there. Very nicely done. Forces Morisan to actually use his tension to opening up. And just like this, he's going to get the, the world. And is he going to finish it? No, he couldn't quite finish his fromage, but it's okay. He got him with the snail. Very well done by Morisan. Finding extremely uh, good opening right there and manages to take the first round. Let's see if he can continue. Oh, and the... Oh, my lord. And the challenge for Moryu saying, Nope, I'm definitely sure that you are going to try to run up and grab me again. And rightfully so. Finds the opening. But, unfortunately, for very nice use of Edo Setora. Not wanting to have the wall break. Wanting to keep moryu -san in the corner where he will be able to uh, apply steady pressure against him. This is actually a strategy that few players use. Resorting not to get the wall splat, not get the wall uh, break, and just keeping your opponent there. Very nicely done by Dosetora. Oh my lord, and the snail counter hit. This is gonna. Oh no! I don't know if it was an intentional drop right there, but unfortunately for him, unfortunately for Moryu-san, Dosetora finds the opening and actually puts another one on the board. Another round, that is. This is match point. Moryu-san absolutely needs this round if he wants to say out again. The challenge. Oh my lord. Morisan out of burst right now. It's now or never. If you want to opening up, you don't have another choice. There we go. The zoning has started. Oh my lord. Uh, and here we go. Oh, okay. Thankfully for Morisan. Now oh, Morisan got oh, that shimmy on the grab for Morisan. And again, it was try trying to keep Morisan in the corner. Doesn't want to get the wall break. Oh, and the oh my lord, that was crazy. I always forget to update them, but it's okay. I did it now. Oh, this is the winner semi-final, by the way. Uh, yeah, I need to update this. Uh, winners semi-final. Where is it? Uh, winners semi-final. Okay, here we go. So on to the next battle. Very nice grab reaction grab right there from Kenken. That was crazy good, by the way. Let's go Kenken as well. <laughs> no worries, I didn't want to force you, Schmucko. You cheer on whoever you want, no worries. Okay, here we go with the 2S counter hit right there from Bexis. Pushes Kenken in the corner, gets another counter hit. This is gonna be, yep, Tyrant Rave. Tyrant Rave! Right there gets the hard knockdown. What is Kenken going to do? And the quick dust for the kill. Very nicely done. Just make it a good match. That is a very... That I couldn't have said it better exactly. I wish they would. It was a good match. And from the looks of it, it's actually uh, probably going to be the case. Here we go with the uh, empty jump into throw by Kenken. Very nicely done. Also, almost got the, the, the grab, by the way. Here we go back in neutral. Vex trying to fish for them dashes by using the 2S right there. But... Kenken just being very patient, not, uh, you know, not over committing to the dash. And, but unfortunately for him, he got pushed in the corner yet again. A very emergency 6S right there. 6P, I'm sorry. And actually found it smart. Very nicely done by Kenken. The 6P has been working wonders for, for Kenken. Oh no, almost got, almost got the hit on the, on the Bandit Bringer. That was so unfortunate by Kenken. Kenken, ah, got hit. That was unfortunately the magic of the uh, 4S of Saul, man. The magic of that 4S. It's crazy. It's like a freaking truck. Very nicely done by Bex. Gets the first match of this encounter right here. It's definitely not over till it's over. Ken Ken is known for his comeback potential. I have no doubt that he uh, has the potential to bring it back. So no worries. We shall see it in a couple of seconds, hopefully.
And here we go with the following battle. A big gun flame in the face. <laughs> and Bex already uh, pushing Kenken in the corner, man. Already has him wherever, uh, the, exactly where he wants. He tried to bait the burst, but Kenken being very patient right there. Didn't take the bait. Another Tyrant Rave. Tyrant Rave! Oh, that almost killed the magic pixel right there from Kenken. Keeps him alive. And D6P, man. Kenken realizing that it wasn't a safe jump in that crazy setup from Kenken. That was crazy good. Is he going to bring it back? Oh, oh my lord, and the grab from Kenken, man. Kenken definitely... Oh my lord, and the grab again from Kenken. He could have taken it, by the way. And the grab again, man. The triple grab from Kenken for the win, man. The, 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 the mix of the no mixes, man. Very nicely done by Kenken. Here we go with the Bandit Revolver. I think that Kenken managed to low profile it and uh, punish him. That in the reversal, exactly, man. Yo, that was crazy good from Kenken. Brings it back, man. That was crazy hype. Oh, here we go. The 2S finding its mark by Kenken. Trying to dash a little bit too much this time around. Oh, here we go. The almost got the aerial grab. I, 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 I wager. There we go with Kenken. Nope, a little bit too far to get the punish. And the six HS on the ground for the win. Very nicely done by Bix. Gets the second round. Okay, here we go. The one who takes this one takes everything. Oh, my lord. And the six. And the little delay 6P right there. Counter hit for the one. Oh, and caught you pressing buttons. <laughs> here we go. The wisp, bro. That did a lot of damage. Oh, my god. And you can see Bix just running in very deep trying to bait something. Probably try to bait the uh, overdrive from Ken Ken. Here we go, Ken Ken. Being very patient, very nice Nasante aerial, but unfortunately for him, Bex knew it and didn't uh, do the... Oh, and the pickup from the uh, from the Vortex. Here we go, Ken Ken. He's definitely not dead until he's dead. He okay, this is actually a fake... Oh, uh, this is a fake save jump. You can actually... Um, you can actually um, DP her. And very nicely done by Ken Ken. Manages to put one on the board as well. It's not over. Very nice, very nice. I'm very nice. Look at me. <laughs> that was so hype. Very nicely done. And on, moving on to the next battle. Let's see how it pans out. <clears throat> Let's see how it pans out. Oh. Perfect. That was so hype. Let me moving on to the next battle. Can can manage to find the conversion managed to find the momentum shifts and Bex yeah Bex needs to oh Bex actually tr doing a very uh, good job of being unfazed by it by the way and here we go again the close S counter and this is going to do a lot of damage look at the look at the life of Geo man where's your life where did it go and, oh my lord and the Nasante out of oh with the double Nasante the hell that was crazy good I am definitely clipping this here we go. Oh, here we go with the air to air in favor of Bex. Very nicely done. The double Nasante was pretty freaking high, though. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, so I see. Oh, my lord. And the, oh, that 6 H Swift punish was freaking crazy. Okay, here we go again with the close S counter hit. And just like this, Bex just puts one on the board. <laughs> where was that? Where, where did that third match go, man? Where did it go? What happened? <laughs> it was so quick. Holy freaking lord. Ah, that was crazy. Very nicely done by Bex. Definitely unfazed by the fact that uh, Kenken managed to take the the second the second match. It definitely unfazed. He, he said, oh, "Yeah, he took it. Oh, that's okay. I'll, I'll I'm gonna I'm gonna speed run you in the third match, man. Very nicely done." And on to the fourth battle this time around. Okay, Kenken definitely needs this match if he wants to stay alive. At least in the winner's bracket, that is. So, let's see if he's going to find some adjustments. Oh, here we go. Ken Ken trying to find the openings. Oh, my lord. And that whiff punish, man. To confirm, that was crazy good. Bex, oh, found the opening. And Ken Ken really trying to fish for them bursts. Oh, and Bex himself. Okay, the trade on the quick flip into the the DP that was pretty pretty crazy. Here we go. Yeah, you can see Bex definitely fishing for them uh, them dashes right there using the two S four. Uh, well, to try to get and hit him out of it. Oh, here we go. Kick flip finds its mark. The bended bringer. 
Oh, again, the kid from this summer is gonna get punished, yeah. Oh my lord, I'm just running straight and just pressing the 2S button. Oh, is that gonna do? Oh, not quite. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Oh! And that back ID into the, I believe it is the jumping HS if I'm correct. Please correct me if I'm wrong, it might be the case. We go with the grab down to the wire indeed. Ah, <laughs> Takarin san, irashiaimasu, yokoto. And here we go with Ken Ken putting Bex in the corner. Oh my lord, and that realization of the clash by Bex immediately converts into pressing the, the, the 4S. Oh, again, counter on counter on counter on counter, man. There's been like 100,000 different counters right there. Oh, try to get the try to get the conversion. The end combo right there. Okay, both opponents are really down on life. And again, Bex fight the opening with the 2S. Oh! Oh, and here we go with Ken Ken managed to catch Bex pressing uh, mashing DP on on wake up. Oh my lord, that that god freaking that god freaking uh, move, man! The standing S, uh, the standing Kate comes out so freaking quickly. Down to the wire, exactly. Here we go with Bex. My lord, just pestering Ken again, man. He's just pestering him, just... Oh my lord, and just DP for the punish. How the hell did this even work? Here we go, Ken Ken really down to the wire right now. Really on his last leg, he doesn't have breeze, doesn't have any... Any resources right there, and oh my lord, this is probably gonna do he And again, Bex tried to uh, bait the burst, but fortunately for Ken... Oh, and the DP, the mash DP in block. Do I deactivate my night mode? Here we go. Yes, that's better. I can see stuff now. Okay, and on to the next battle. Yeah! Yes, This is Yonekin Kenta. Come back And here we go with the start of the round of Yamase goes go using the uh, 4 HS right there. Okay, here we go. Yamase, it full on to, uh, uh, how do you call it? Zoning mode. Here we go. And Edo san again doing very Kai like things. Oh, and the wake up burst, golden burst that is, for Yamase, he gets a full tension bars. Very nice 2P from Yamase right there. Doesn't have any minions anymore on the screen, unfortunately for him. Oh, that maneuvering from Yamase it was crazy good. Here we go, finally forces Edo to burst and the double HS into the overdrive. Is this going to kill? It isn't, this is unfortunate for Yamase. Here we go, the schmixes. Oh, the awareness of Edo to actually kill the minion on his way on the other side of the screen. But unfortunately for him, he didn't have any health left to try to uh, tank the uh, killing hit blow, the killing blow that Yamase dealt him. Very nice food or dark right there from Edo Setora. Closing in the gap. Oh my lord, yeah, you can see. Yamase pestering Edo as much as possible with as many minions as possible, trying to force him to try to, well, to, to, to do something, you know? Oh, very nice 6P right there, gets the counter hit. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, the damn tick throws that have been really working for Edo Setora so far. Very nice delayed uh, close S right there and the quick dust for the kill. Really, really well played from Edo. Gets the uh, second round as well. This is one round apiece. The one who takes this one takes it all. Okay, very nice 2S into the 2D right there from Yamase. Again goes low, finds the opening. Edo needs to find... Oh, and the use of the guard point from Yamase right there. But unfortunately, couldn't quite get the conversion off of it. A fully charged dust right there yet again by Edo. He couldn't quite get the opening right there. Oh, and again goes low. Edo, you need to watch your feet, man. You need to watch your feet. And the charge dust for the wall break. Is Edo going to use the stun dipper? As many Kai players do right at the start of wall break, we shall see, but no, he didn't. And just like this, the zoning, the pristine zoning from Yamase ends up granting him the first match. Very well done from Yamase. Edo is definitely, definitely not out of it. As you can see, he was extremely, um, well, you know, he didn't overextend. He did uh, do a, take a lot of uh, good decisions, noticeably the one of killing the uh, minions as soon as they came up on the screen. Let's see if he can find some adjustment to try to, uh, well, basically win a match as well. We shall see. And just like this, we have the Halo 
uh, the Halo uh, BGM right there. I love this soundtrack, by the way. All this BGM. Here we go, and oh, the four HS right there from middle finds the opening. Halo theme really matched the eagle. Yeah, it did, man. It did. Man, I have the best BGM playlist uh, of any FGC uh, streamer. I can. I, I am quite confident at it. I'm really, really confident at it. Anyways, here we go with the 2D. Perfect from Edo, definitely a strong statement from him. He is going, he's definitely trying to bring it back. Let's see how it goes. And here we go back to zoning mode. Yamase definitely intent on trying to make it so that Edo does not close the gap. But unfortunately for him, Edo will definitely not be just sitting and abiding at by this, um, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this plan that Yamase is trying to uh, force upon him. And here we go, the Stun Dipper, unfortunately for him. Yamas actually aware of it, used again the guard point to uh, counter the uh, attempt of Edo Setora to use the uh, Stun Dipper. Oh, and that 2D for the opening, that was crazy good. Again, another wall break for Yamase, man. Definitely on a streak of wall breaks. And again, Edo Setora trying to close the gap by using the Stun Dipper, but... Given that Yamase like spends like half of the match in the air, it's definitely not working out for him that much. Is there any room ID? There is indeed, but uh, how come on? Uh, where are you? How come on? Don't, don't, don't come yet. Just wait, wait. Just wait because... Uh, yeah, just wait. Taiki, stick it aside. It's, it's, and there's a new room ID. I'll send it to you once uh, once your match is, uh, is coming over. No worries. And here we go with the wall break yet again from Yamase, man. He's been breaking walls left and right. Here we go, what's the schmicks? And you are dead. Very nice cross up into the minion. Just like this, Yamase. Uh, so yeah, Yamase takes it yet again. 2-2-0 is Edo Setola looks as if he's being a little bit overwhelmed by the ongoing pressure from, um, well, from, uh, from Yamase, man. Very, very nicely done. <laughs> that was pretty clutch indeed. Okay, let's see. Is Edo going to find some sort of adjustment to try to bring it back? And as you can see, like the first match was extremely, extremely uh, tight, uh, and Edo seemed to be uh, performing a lot better than the second match. But second match was really just a wash. I'm really sorry to have to say this, but yeah, it was definitely in favor of Yamase. Okay, here we go. Very nice opening yet again by Yamase. Finds the opening using the minion and the cross up. My lord, the guard point into the grab right there from Yamase. That was crazy good. Using the guard point so efficiently, just keeping Edo Setora out, man. He's definitely like pushing his buttons right there. You can see that Edo Setora is starting to be a little bit angsty, a little bit uh, angry. Not uh, angry, but frustrated by the play of Yamase Setora and of Yamase. Yeah. And Yamase just, you know, mixing his options, man. Did you see this? I have... This was crazy good. Very well played by Yamase. Just mixing up every single one of his options. And uh, yeah, Edo, like, looking extremely lost right there. Oh, my lord. And the far HS, though, uh, <laughs> just slices right through both the minion and Yamase as well. It will finally force the burst. Oh, my lord. And Yamase reading the, the grab. That was crazy clutch. Very nicely done by him. He's got... It'll in the corner. Is he going to get the add? They should do actually in the overdrive for the kill. Yamase takes it. 3 to 0. Man, that was crazy. Let's see if uh, the training that I have uh, had Hakuman go through with my own testament is going to prove uh, successful or not. We shall see. Okay, here we go with Hakuman trying to. Uh, well, actually, try. Like, strangely enough, Hakuman trying to put some distance between him and Moryu. Here we go, early burst from Hakuman. But thankfully for him, he was able to get the golden burst to hit, so he has a full tension bar right there. Very nicely done. Oh my lord, and that for S counter hit that did a huge amount of damage and the conversion. Oh! Oh my lord, that was so hype! No, and Hakuman, no! Hakuman, your fromage! Finish your fromage! Why didn't you finish your fromage? The run up grab by Hakuman and the close HS for the win. Never seen that air through yet. Oh, really? And you're in for a treat, man. <laughs> Wisan does it a lot of times, so hopefully you'll see it again. And here we go with the 
counter hit in favor of Hakuman. Hakuman definitely finding the opening right there. But Moisa reading the uh, Yozan Sen right there. Ah, and the fart is for the wall break from Hakuman. Very nicely done. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. No, you you won. Hakuman, you won. You won there. Why did he, did he, why did he not do the follow up? And again. Oh. And the counter overdrive right there from Moriasan who resorts to using the fully charged dust. This is gonna do a lot of damage, not gonna kill. Oh, and Moriasan not, not doing, not having his dust combo now. This is unfortunate for him. And Hakuman ends up taking the first round. The first match actually, very nicely done. This is a very explosive first match, by the way. Extremely well played by both, both uh, competitive competitors right there. That was crazy good, man. <laughs> there were overdrive out of out of the out of the uh, I don't know I don't want to say this but there were so many overdrives and counter overdrives right that that was really well done. But again, anyways, there we go. First match goes to Hakuman Moriyasan deciding to stick with Testman to try to see if he can reverse the uh, well the, the trend. Let's see how it goes. We go with uh, Hakuman using Yozan Sen, uh, trying to force his way in. And here we go. You can see Moriyasan trying to taint. Hakuman as quickly as possible. Oh, here we go to 6p counter hit for the push in the corner. And Moriyasan manages to secure and uh, get a safe passage towards Hakuman by using the charged version of the skull. Here we go. Hakuman is successfully tainted right there. And thanks to the Roman Cancel, Moriyasan manages to get the first round of this match. Very nicely done. Hmm. Right, here we go, the air tower by Hakuman, but unfortunately for him, Morisan ends up falling quicker than he does, and 6 e is him. Here we go, the counter hit, 6 HS. Yes. Oh, he could have gotten the, the jungle. This is unfortunate for Moriu. Okay, here we go, he gets the wall break, though. He's gonna get the positive bonus as well. Oh, the big 6 HS yes. counter hit. Very nicely done. Yeah, Morisan definitely not playing around, man. Definitely. Oh, here we go, the, uh, the cross of Yozan Sen. Oh, and the air to air from Hakuman is going to get the full combo. This is going to do a lot of damage. Oh, and the grab. Mixing up his... Oh, no! Hakuman, you should have just went for the combo. And just like this, Moisan puts one under the board as well. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Really well done by Moisan right there. What is Hakuman going to do? Is he going to go to Giovanna? I doubt it. Yeah, he's a full Viking main now. Definitely not going back to Giovanna. Well, that's what I personally believe. Let's see if that is the case or not. But it is in the case. He is still with Baikin, and rightfully so. Well, let's see how this pans out. Oh, here we go. Both opponents uh, taking to the air with the adventures to Moriu, who... Uh, oh, my lord. That was almost a counter hit right there. And the 6 HS counter hit, speaking of which... The 6 HS counter hit by Moriusan finds its mark. Here we go to the late Yozan sent by Hakuman. Could open his opponent up, but he couldn't quite get the conversion. This is unfortunately unfortunate. Moriusan gets the taint state. Okay, he's trying to uh, basically zone Hakuman out with the Harbinger. Here we go, big uh, combo. He didn't decide to go with the combo, but instead uh, resorted to uh, go with the reset. Here we go, he gets the Hakuman gets the wall break. And the air grab yet again by Moriu, really well done. Again, the uh, delayed grab by Moriu, he gets Hakuman in the corner, he gets him in the, uh, um, what's it called, he's in tainted state. Oh, and oh, he had the win there. Oh, and the wake up overdrive by Hakuman. Oh, fortunately for Moriu, Moriu-san was patient. And just like this, he gets the first round of this encounter. Let's see how it pans out. Air to air by Hakuman again catches the back dash by Moriu. He could have gotten the wall break. Oh, the burst. Oh, my lord, the bad burst by Moriu san, unfortunately for him. Bursted right when Hakuman decided to back dash, and just like this is gonna be a freaking watch. But thankfully for Moriu san, he got. Oh, my lord, and that snipe. That snipe from Hakuman gets the, the second round very nicely done. The sniper Magumon, realizing that Moriu was probably gonna go for his skull. Oh, here we go back to neutral. Oh, Moriu-san using the six spear right there, very nicely done. Run up, grab, good stuff. Oh, and the air, the the jump from Hakuman jumping over the uh, attempted grab from 
Moryu. There we go. Ah, too far, but so oh, my Lord Gear to wear in favor of Akuman. Almost got the win, but thanks to ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, uh. yeah. Here we go. Yo, oh, my Lord, and Akuman manages to take the second, the third. I'm sorry, match as well. Really, really well done. Just notice, losers is spelled lose. Oh my Lord, <laughs> I can't write correctly for the life of me. Thank you for the heads up, Zemister. Really appreciate it. I'm going to solve this right away. Lucifer's. <laughs> Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. Here we go. This this should be better now. I do a lot of uh, of typos, so yeah. If you ever find one, please don't hesitate to uh, to call me out. <laughs> please. Thanks. Really appreciate it. And on to the fourth match and the clash in favor of Hakuman right there gets to counter it and pushes Moryu in the corner. Moryu-san uses the TP to try to get out of the corner, successfully does so. And the wake-up counter from Hakuman. Oh, and here we go, Moryu. Oh, and again the wake-up counter from Hakuman. Man, are you serious? The disrespect is real with this man. Oh, my lord. Hakuman on a freaking... On a... On a... On a, on a steamroll, man. Holy... Holy freaking lord. Really well played by... Uh, Hakuman met the double freaking counter, man. Here we go. Hakuman mixing up his, mixing up his uh, his uh, his options right there. Gets the uh, what's it called the hard knockdown. Oh, and the delayed throw. Unfortunately, not delayed enough to catch Morion. Just like this, this should do. Oh, he almost. Oh, and the my lord, the counter at HS. He gets the double standing K into six HS into counter uh, into wall break. Okay, but Hakuman is in tainted state. He needs to be careful. Oh, and the 6H, the 6P for the win. Hakuman takes it. That was a crazy one. And moving on to the next match, which is gonna be Edo said I really need to get. <laughs> I need really need to get the um the the, the habit of like resetting the the, the scores as well. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. It's gonna be Edo against Megui. Let's see how it pans out. Okay, very, very quick start of the round with Idol just running straight and doing a 6P. It worked out in his favor. Very nicely done. There you go. But Imegu manages to find a way out of the corner. Oh, and the IAD immediately sniped out by Idol by using the 6P. Very nicely done. Here we go. The diary cloth trying to keep Megu forcing, uh, forcing him in the corner. Look, here we go. Oh, my lord. That was, oh, that was a very dangerous whiffed grab right there. Finally, Megu forced to, ah... Uh, Ah! Uh, oh, and that punish very nicely done by Edo. Oh, and the back dash was such a cheeky back dash from Edo Sato even manages to hit the fully charged does this should do. Very nicely done by Edo. Here we go, takes the first round. We'll see how it pans out. Oh, and that four is counter hit. That was crazy good. And the delayed grab from Megu in order to be sure to uh well to, to basically be able to grab very nice from megu gets the hard knockdown gonna get the empty oh but he could get it though he could have gotten it if he did the ram slam oh no siree you are not doing kai stuff for, with me this is what megu just said right there very nicely done again the 4s counter hit for megu megu definitely finding his rhythm right now Oh, okay, no 6P right there. Unfortunate for him, and the Ram Slam. The Ram Slam to catch a back dash of Edo. Here we go. Edo is in prison, but manages to uh, mash his way out. Very nicely done. Here we go. The Sun AG finds its mark. Edo definitely on a roll right there. Okay, you can see he can smell blood right there. He tried to 6P. Oh, and the Stun Dipper. The Stun Dipper catches Megu out of whatever he was trying to do. Okay, here we go, but Edo still, still with the, oh, and the stun dipper, oh, okay, hopefully for him, thankfully for Megu, oh, oh, this is really down to the wire, non for, oh, and the, non for the meaty from Edo finds its mark, and thanks to this, Edo manages to take the first match of this bout, very nicely done by Edo, but yeah, definitely, this was a really close match, I wouldn't be surprised if Megu, if Megu actually manages to bring it back. It was crazy good. <clears throat> okay, on to the next battle. Let's see how it pans out. This is so freaking high. Well, yeah, the, every single match of today, unfortunately for us, we wouldn't, we weren't able to see Lady Scribe and um, 
and uh, Natsuki's matches, but every single other matches that we had on stream was really good. So I'm definitely looking forward to uh, to seeing how this pans out. Here we go, D. Uh, the Vapor Thrust right there from Edo Sito found it. Smart, unfortunately for him, a badly timed uh, fireball right there got uh, counter hitted by Megu and Megu use utilizing the very far normals of uh, Ram to uh, well to uh, punish Edo's attempts to try to throw any fireball and just like this Megu seals the first round and takes it very nicely done <clears throat> going on to the second round oh and again the 6p Edo definitely on point with his entire here we go, but yeah, Megu also very, very, very filmsy, very uh, uh, slippery, really manages to find his way out of the corner. Uh, oh, very nice six feet of Megu to try to punish the attempt of Edo to get out of the corner. Oh my lord, and the badly timed midi from uh, Edo, unfortunately, he was probably fishing for something, and the 2 HS counter hit this. Oh! Oh, and the bait of the burst, and just like this, Megu, just as I said, it puts one on the board. Thank you very much for the follow, but guy, welcome to the Brojo. Yeah, and just like this, uh, Megu puts one on the board as well. We do have a match, ladies and gentlemen, between two extremely aggressive players. It's a treat to watch them fight in tournament uh, setting right there. I'm really, really, really honored and humbled by being uh, the host of today's tournament. I'm really happy. So let's see how this pans out. Is Edo going to be able to reverse the momentum, or is Megumi going to continue on his, uh, well, on, on this, uh, on the streak, basically? Okay, Edo forced to burst right there, and back to the neutral. Oh, very nice attempt and the successful attempt of Megu to run straight, do uh, 2K into the uh, 6HS. Nice recognition from Edo Setora. Okay, he's got Megu in the corner. This is the second time that Megu actually gets opened by a fully charged dust. Ah, oh, here we go, the Ram Slam. The favorite, I am sure this is the favorite attack of Megu. Megu always uses Ram Slam if they're back in the uh, the neutral and uh, they have like one, one meter tension bar. They will always do Ram Slam. I can guarantee it. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, Megu. Okay, Edo just uh, pressing buttons in between the record attempts of Megu. A very nice grab by Edo. Again with the dust and finds its opening and this should do. Very nice first round from Edo. Finds the opening. Let's see how this pans out. Oh my lord. <laughs> that, yeah, Edo just doing some very high things, man. Just running straight to you, trying to grab you. But thankfully, Megu probably sensed it and double back dashed actually, and thanks to this, was able to make the grab attempt with. Okay. Oh my lord, that was really cheeky from Megu. Unfortunately for him, he got swooped out of his uh, attempt to escape the corner by Edo Setora, who manages to put another one on the board. He takes the lead 2 to 1. Is Megu going to be able to? reverse the uh, flow of momentum or is it going to end up with Edo Setora uh, Zwin? We shall see in a couple of minutes. Okay, on to the fourth battle. Let's see how it goes. Uh, please don't let it be a connection error. Not right now, please. Okay, okay. Megu attempting to try to catch probably the uh, dash attempts of Edo Setora by using the 2 HS, but Edo Setora this time around, like, uncharacteristically just just backs off, you know, and this is really uncharacteristic of him. He's always, like, holding forward, it seems. And just like this, Megu. Megu gets the hard knockdown with the overdrive, using the save jump right there to try to keep Edo Setora in the corner, but thankfully for Edo Setora, he was using his delayed. I don't even know how you call it. I, I call it the shine, I guess, to try to delay his uh, his fall to the ground. Wasn't quite able to get any conversion off of whatever he was attempting to do, but the wake up overdrive into the RC from Megu takes it very nicely done. Hmm. Okay, here we go. I think Megu uh, recognized that Edo Setora delays his attempts to his, delays his uh, 
his um his running attempts and that's the reason why Miglo also delays his attempts to press buttons right at the start of the round very nice recognition from Miglo you're gonna get a full combo into the wall break hard, hard knockdown again the wake up oh lord that safe jump into uh yeah that it was really it was a nicely timed uh, burst from um from um from Edo, uh, he even got the, he almost got the golden burst, but yeah, Megu just using these very safe setups to try to uh, cause a reaction from Edo, be it either uh, the uh, stun dipper, not the stun dipper, the uh, vapor thrust, or the, uh, uh, or just as right now, as we could see, uh, the, uh, what's called the, um, the, 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 the burst, basically. And uh, yeah, just like this, he was able to punish him on this and uh, get the win. Very nicely done by Megu on to the final match. Whoever wins it, wins it all. And the one who loses it is out of the tournament. Let's see how this pans out. Megu on the onslaught, finds the opening. is going to get the wall break into the hard knockdown again with the safe. Oh, my lord. And the MT. Oh, and the Ram Slam for the OTG. The perfect. This is a strong statement from Megu gets the uh, first round extremely convincingly. Oh, here we go with Edu Sitora trying to punish the attempts of Megu trying to control the neutral. Oh, and the food red arc right there finds its opening. Oh, my lord. Oh, and oh, not afraid, man. The 4S actually entired Edu Sitora right there. That was really well played. No, Megu not biting anything, but unfortunately for him, got shipped, got um, scooped out of the air by the, uh, not the Sun Dipper, the, um, the food red arc. But thankfully, oh my lord, again! And just like this, Megu manages to take it 3 2 2 with a 1 Pokemon Biken. So, uh, a little piece of trivia Hakuman was a former Giovanna uh, main. So, hopefully, for him, his experience with Giovanna will help him deal with uh, some of the intricacies of this matchup. And unfortunately, just right at the start of this match, Hakuman gets opened up and forced the burst. Okay, here we go. A very big counter hit right there from Ken Ken. He uses the kit flip to go over Hakuman and his uh, counter hit attempts. And just like this, this is gonna do actually. Okay, no overdrive, but thank. F ah. uh, hey Google, shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry, my, my Google Nest is acting up. Yeah, sometimes if I get too excited over a match, I just start talking to me and stuff. So, and anyways, I told him to shut up. It should be okay. Okay, so here we go. Very nicely done by Ken Ken. Got the first round. Let's see how this spins out for Hakuman. Is he gonna be able to get the conversion? I have to con that our conversion was sick. Very nicely done by Hakuman. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh! Oh, that air to air was sick. He's gonna get the full combo. Boom! Into Walbert. No Walbert. Okay, he was on scent. Okay, and he tried to grab him, but a little bit too early on his grab attempt. This is unfortunate. And the bait of the burst. And this is gonna do, actually. Very nice burst bait from Ken Ken, definitely on point on his uh, punish game right there. That was crazy good. Ken Ken puts one on the board. Okay, well, we can... For now, we can say that, yeah, the experience of Hakuman with his Giovanna didn't really help him during this match. This is unfortunate, but it's definitely not over till it's over, hopefully for him. He's gonna get a shift of momentum in the following match. This is all... This is all I can wish for him. We shall see. Okay, on to the second battle. I really need to drink. I'll drink water, that is. My throat is completely out of order right now. <laughs> okay, here we go with Hakuman. Extremely strong start of the round. And the air-to-air -air yet again has been working so good for him. Here we go to Kabari. Ah, then that delayed grab from Ken. Ken finds the opening. Oh, careful there. Careful there, Hakuman. Okay, here we go, Hakuman out of the corner. He's, he doesn't have any tension bar to try to extend his combo and potentially get the win. And again, the aerial uh, approach of Hakuman has been working extremely well in his favor right there. The second time that he catches uh, uh, Ken Ken out of the air and gets a conversion actually off of it. Probably recognizing that Ken Ken really takes uh, to the air uh, quite often, actually. And the counter from Hakuman. This guy, man. Oh, and the bait of the burst. This is going to do a lot of damage. You're going to get the full conversion combo. Oh, here we go with the delayed use of the... Uh, 
Oh, here. Hakuman unfortunately pressing buttons right there got open. Oh! Oh, and the delayed burst has delayed burst. Crazy good. And the Yuzan Sin for the win. Very nicely done by Hakuman. Takes the first, uh, the second uh, game, actually. Yeah, the second game. I'm sorry. Yeah, 1-2-1. One, one. We have a match. Japan against Great Britain. <laughs> show, show us the power of Great Britain, Hakuman. Come on, show us. <laughs> okay, and here we go. On to the third match. Let's see how this pans out. <clears throat> oh my lord. Lord in heaven. Okay, here we go. Third match it is. And just like this, again, Hakuman taking it into the air. And Kenya actually resorting to really connect this 6 piece so freaking often. Very nice stuff from him. That that Yuzan Sin was so far, but still managed to hit his opponent. Very nice use of the Shibari state in order to uh, make his Yuzan Sin uh, convert. I don't even know if Hakuman is English. He might be Scottish or Welsh. Oh, it's just, yeah, it's, it's possible. It's definitely not out of the realm of possibility. I will uh, still say that I cannot, for the life of me, uh, tell an accent apart from another one, especially British accents. I can tell like American accent, of course, is probably the easiest. But American, Australian, like Australian, uh, Welsh, uh, Britain, uh, Scottish, it's it, I, I cannot tell them apart. So, But yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> Scotland forever. Definitely. Of course. Here we go, Akuman. Doing a very, very good job of containing Ken Ken, man. And very nice uh, hard knockdown right there from Akuman. Oh, and the air to air yet again by Hakuman and just quick work of Ken Ken this round as well. He manages to take the second match as well. Is Hakuman making his way to the semi-final losers? The loser semi-final. The semi-finals loser. Yoda is my name in <laughs> the semi-finals. The loser semi-finals. We shall see in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Yoda, my name is? <laughs> oh my lord. Anyways, here we go. Moving on to the next battle. Uh, then, yeah, we have... Yeah, the red next up is going to be the semi-finals. So, uh, Kit Kat definitely needs this round to uh, stay alive. If he doesn't, his tournament run is over. The harnessing the power of the four corners of the Isles. Exactly. <laughs> Norn Iron. <laughs> Born Iron. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, finally, Ken Ken manages to force the burst off of Hakuman. Okay, here we go. Hakuman waking up with the counter yet again. Boom. Okay, here we go. Hakuman, oh, trying to get out of the corner for his life, man. Very nice. Uh, oh, and the delayed. Oh, that was not a very good meaty by Hakuman, unfortunately for him. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ken Ken took up this opportunity to grab him out of his uh, his uh, a, a close HS recovery frames. Again, man, the use of this air to air by Hakuman, the jumping S has been pristine. It's been working so much in his favor, especially with the follow up. Ooh, Lord, Hakuman again taken into the air and just doing a very good job of baiting stuff, you know? Oh, again, the double S, the jumping S. Okay, here we go. Hakuman in. Oh, was it? Oh, and no 6P. Where's your 6P, my boy? Where's your 6P, boy? Oh, okay. Hakuman trying to, like, with the hard reset, trying to get the... The, the 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 grab the the aerial grab attempt so where, where are you going ay 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 okay and the fully charged dust for the win this is gonna oh do yeah this is gonna do this is not gonna do actually oh, oh no went here to her my lord and Hakuman steals it he steals it are you serious anyway let's go biking that was so clutch let's see how this pans out for Ken, 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 Ken definitely didn't, probably definitely didn't like what happened right there. Oh, okay, but yeah, everything is going in Ken Ken's favor for now. As of now, okay, here we go. Hakuman getting out of the corner. Ah, Hakuman not, not contesting these aerial approaches from, uh, from, Hak from, uh, from Ken Ken. This is really unfortunate. Okay, here we go to Kabari. The oh, tja, this is gonna, this actually could have done. And finally, Hakuman forced to burn. First and goes around his opponent. And the aerial grab attempt by Hakuman again, man. Doesn't quite find his mark. Hakuman taking to the air so freaking off often. Ah, uh, he's gonna catch the bag dash. This was crazy good. He caught the bag dash again. 
Oh, both opponents definitely feeling themselves. Uh, and thankfully. Oh, my little dog! Are you serious? The weak. <laughs> oh, no! It's so crazy. The level of these matches today is really crazy. That was that the thuggery. The professional thuggery. Exactly, man. That was crazy good. Arigato gozaimashita, Ken Kenta. Okay, here we go with the way to start of the round with D4S counter hit by Hakuman immediately converts into the 2HS counter hit. Very well done. Here we go. Oh, and the uh, Rekka counter hit from Megu. Really, really well done. Come on, Hakuman, show us your magic. The magic of Hakuman. Okay, here we go with Megu on to a prime position to get the uh, wall break into the heavy knockdown. Let's see how Hakuman deals with the pressure. Ah, unfortunate for him. He tried to overextend a little bit too much. And thanks thanks to this, uh, Megu is able to get the first round. But it's definitely just the start of it. It's not over till it's over. Here we go, the air to air by... Uh, okay, let me change the, the song because it's definitely not as uh, hype as what I thought it would be. Like here we go, on to the next song. They're gonna be catching explosions, exactly. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Let's find another one. Okay, Blaze Blue. You can go wrong with Blaze Blue. Okay, here we go with Megu definitely on point right there. He's gonna get the overdrive into the hard knockdown. Okay, here we go. Finally, Hakuman forced to burst right there. <clears throat> and the red cast for the win. Megu takes the first match extremely convincingly. Oops, I think we have a connection error. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we do. Connection error. Is it? No. They all happen. What is going on? I hope... I hope I didn't freeze. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, we have. Connection has been lost. Okay, here we go. Okay, both opponents are back in the lobby. It's okay. We just have a slight connection error. We can start the matches right away. Hmm. Ready when you are, guys. Okay, so the first match goes to... Maybe let's see if Hakuman is going to find some sort of adjustment in order to bring it back. Okay, Hakuman bike in against the Megu. Ram. Here we go. And the air to air again in favor of Megu. An immediate burst from Hakuman, unfortunately for him. Oh my lord, that conversion was sick. Very nicely played by Megu. Nice conversion. Okay, and here we go, back in the neutral. Oh, and the spacing from Megu is gonna find the opening. And just like this, Megu takes the first round very nicely done with a perfect, the strong statement from Megu. Is Hakuman going to be able to bring it back? Oh, and the fault, yeah, the, the jump back from Megu. Oh, my lord, and the counter in into the Rekas, man. Oh, bad burst right there from Megu. Extremely well used uh, 6p right there from Megu to punish the follow up of the uh, the Kabari. Okay, here we go. Hakuman in prime position to take it. Oh, and the 4s and the 4s right there. Yeah, but just for. Oh my lord, the cheekiness of this man. Just running straight and 2k for the win by Hakuman. Really well done. Okay, back in neutral. Oh my lord, yeah, the jump backs from uh, Megu have been extremely hard for Hakuman to try to deal with. Oh! Okay, here we Oh my lord, that just defended. Okay, very nicely done. My Hakuman finds the opening and switches places with Megu, but Megu definitely not over with it. What the hell? What the hell happened? <laughs> yeah, what happened is that Hakuman used his jumping S and it basically hit. Oh lord! And it basically hit the. Uh, the um, I believe it was the 2S, uh, the, the 2P of, uh, of Megumi, even though he was on the other side. Okay, here we go. Megu definitely trying to stick to Hakuman as closely as possible, man. No oh, lord, and just walk up, run up straight. 
Oh, very nicely done by Hakuma. Noticing that Hakuma, uh, that uh, Megu is. Yeah, very nicely done by Megu. Takes it as well. Oh, it takes a second match, actually. That was, uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely not totally one sided, but, uh, the spacing of uh, Megu has definitely been pristine right there, and Hakuman has a lot of problems dealing with it, especially with the jump backs. What he's been doing right now, and which has been more or less well, working in his favor, is just one of certain doing 2HS to try to catch the uh, back dashes uh, upon landing from uh, from Megu. But uh, yeah, I think uh, Hakuman needs to be more wary of the run up straights of Megu using the 6P and perhaps use uh, either 2S or. Yeah, probably 2S to try to uh, punish the attempts of uh, six Ps of, um, of, of Megu. So let's see how it goes. Again, the back jump from Megu, which have been uh, causing a lot of problems to Hakuma. Hakuma has the power, he has the potential. Exactly. Believe in him. Oh my lord, wake up. Wake up. Uh, the wake up counter from Hakuma yet again. Okay, here we go. This is gonna do a lot of damage. It's not gonna kill though. Definitely gonna bring it close to home though. No oh, and Oh, very nice use of the fireworks from Hakuma. Hakuma, there's another combo you can do. You could have gotten the wall break right there. Hakuma always going for these resets with the uh, the the tatami gaishi, which is uh, unfortunate for this time because he probably could have gotten the the, the the kill if he did the normal combo. This is unfortunate for him. Here we go, you can get the uh, conversion off of this, Hakuma. It's okay. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> oh, and that 4S counter hit by Megu. Very nicely done. Oh, finally gets the counter hit. Oh, and the Ram Slam right there. I believe, believe in him. It's not over till it's over. Oh, and the aerial grab attempt by Hakuma. Couldn't quite find its mark. Very nice conversion right there from the blocks, fireworks into uh, dash. Oh, that cheeky back dash. And you are in prison. And oh, my lord. And Megumi has been extremely strong when it came to just losing uh, two extremely good players. Bix, Sol against Yamasego, Jacko. Both players have been playing perfectly up until now. Let's see who ends up winning this one and making their way to the grand final. No, a finally burst uh, forced upon by Yamase to Bex. Here we go. Yamase gonna try to want to keep this zoning game with Z uh, Jacko because J Jacko does not want to do uh, does not want to do like a close close counters with so very nice conversion by Yamase. Couldn't quite it wasn't quite able to get the full conversion in the end of the coral combo. Okay, Bex using the uh, vortex to try to go underneath the pressure of Yamase. Which uh, seemingly worked as first, but Yamase uh, was quick enough to uh, recover uh, their block, basically. So that was really, really well done. Okay, here we go. Ooh, and that jumping HS counter hit. And yeah, Bex just waking up with the freaking um, the freaking DP right there. Really well played. Very nice air air by Bex right there. Could catch Yamase out of the air. He's going to get a combo. Okay. Try to grab uh, Yamase, but unfortunately, uh, well, fortunately for uh, Bex, he had some RC to uh, make his whiffed grab safe. Okay, here we go with Yamase catching DP's attempts of Bex. Is it going to be enough to prevent Bex from DPing any further? Probably not. Okay, here we go with the 2S counter hit, and just like this, Bex takes the second round. Really well played. Okay, let's see if this can. If this train is going to continue or if Yamase is going to bring it back as well. Very nice use of the normals of uh, Salt to kill the minions and prevent them from uh, getting close. Very nicely done. Okay, we go back to the neutral. And the conversion juggle of Yamase also recognizing that Bex has been waking up a lot with DP. Punishes it accordingly. You can do a lot of damage. Things considered. Here we go. The oh lord, is he gonna get it? Oh, unfortunately, he couldn't. Oh, and the vortex to go. Bis bis oh lord. Oh, okay. This is probably gonna spell death. Though. And the six HS for the win. Oh, my lord, and first try. First try. It's unexplainable. I, it's really unexplainable. Anyways, here we go. Onto the second match. 
Sorry for the wait, guys. Really, really apologize. Again, we're early burst from Bex, forced to do so by Yamase. And again, the 5 HS, well, the standing HS counter hit from Yamase has been doing wonders for him. Oh, okay, here we go. He's got him Swiss Sandwich with the minion and very nice recognition that he could grab him out of his, uh, his, uh, for S. And here we go with the optimized combo. He gets the wall break. Oh my lord, this 2D has been the bane of the existence of Bex, man. And here we go. Oh my lord, and the DP just let it rip. Very nice recognition from Bex that, uh, Yamase was gonna take into the air. Air grabs him and keeps him in the corner. Oh lord! Oh lord! You got it! Oh, okay, here you go. Finally, Yamase resorting to... Oh, and then air grab! That was so... That was so close to the ground. How did this even work? That was crazy good. Very well done by Yamase. Okay, here we go. The zoning game is strong with this one. Oh my lord, and Yamase punishing the attempt of Vex to try to kill his minion. Don't touch my minion, I said. I go very nice juggle by Bex. He's gonna get a full combo carry combo. Couldn't quite get the wall break. Here we go with Yamase uh, abusing a little bit too much of them uh, fuzzy jumps. Here we go. Very nice use of Yamase of the again. I will keep saying it, but Yamase doing a really good job of uh, using the point guard right there from uh, the guard point to point guard. I hear I go yo dying again. <laughs> very nicely done by uh, Bex. Put one round as well on the board. <clears throat> Oh, Gary go with the football using the minion as a football and effectively hitting Bex out of the air. Oh, Gary go Bex not wasting any time killing or well, disposing of them uh, of them minions as soon as they're on the uh, on the on the stage. Very nicely done. Here we go. That finally the burst. Oh, and here we go. Oh, and the vortex. Oh, that was close. Okay, here we go. Bex again with the vortex catching. Catches Yamase. Oh, that was a bad overdriver. Oh my lord, it actually caught him? What the hell? What buttons did he press? That was probably a forest. What what question am I asking right there? <laughs> Thank you very much for the raid, Hakuman. Really appreciate it, brother. Thank you very much. Okay, and just like this, we have uh a 2 to 0 in favor of Yamase. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Surprise indeed. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. And on to the third uh, match of this encounter. Bex definitely uh, absolutely needs to put two on the board if he wants to. Uh, still alive and... Uh, okay, perfect. We don't have a connection error. Okay, moving on to the next battle. Okay, we go with Yamase really just being extremely nimble, man. Refusing to stay in one point and uh, in one point and rightfully so. Very nice recognition from Yamase. Got the knockdown. Unfortunately, causes Bex to uh, to uh, well to burst. Basically, here we go. The zoning game is strong, but Bex actually finds the opening by six being the uh, jump in attempt from Yamase. There we go. Yep, you had to cross. You had to break. Uh, you had to uh, block cross up. Come in there. <laughs> oh, very nice cross up this time around. Didn't quite get the converter because the menu was a little bit too far. Yeah, I must say it's really he is, man. He is. Will this be it? No, it's not actually. Okay, Bex on his last feet right now. Is he gonna be able to stay alive? <laughs> oh, and the the fireball for the win. Very nicely done. This is domestic abuse. Where's the wife beating up the husband? I don't know, but I love it. <laughs> okay, very nice six speak out right there for Yamase gets the juggle actually with the minion. My lord, Yamase is a beast. That dude, man. That dude, man. Okay, here we go. Well deserved, exactly. <laughs> if anybody deserves domestic violence, it's definitely Saul. Definitely guilty your strife, Saul. He deserves it. Oh my lord, and the dust attempt by Yamase almost hit him, man, by the way. Okay, here we go, Bex finally finding an opening. He's gonna get the wall break. He runs brave! There we go, what is going to be the wake up from Bex? Oh my lord, the tick, ah, the tick pressure from Bex, man. Ooh, ooh. Oh my lord, but Bex is doing such a good job of, uh, he's doing such a good job of, uh, oh no, this is unfortunate for him. Oh, and the grab for the win! And just like this, Yamase go takes it. Okay, let's play it from the beginning. No, 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 not this one, I'm sorry. Here we go. We're good. Here we go. 
Here we go. We need a good, a good chunk for this, for this bout. So here we go on to the losers final. It's gonna be Bex against Megu, and just right at the start of this, we have Bex already forcing Megu in the corner. But Megu does have his burst, so definitely has a Ned right there, and also has Life Fleet, as I'm saying right there. He does have some, uh, some resources right there. You can see that Bex was trying to run and block, probably in anticipation of. Megu waking up with a super and just like this, Megu is gonna get a wall break. Decide not to use uh, his tension to uh, try to get the wall break. Uh, but yeah, very nice. Oh, the delayed grab. Oh, is he gonna? No, he couldn't. Why? 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 Megu, you had it. This is unfortunate, but it's okay. If Dex ends up taking the first round of this encounter, will this friend continue or will Bex find a way to reverse the? The momentum. Here we go with the jumping. HS. Oh, bad burst from Bex. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Go, Megu, beat him with your overwhelming talent. Exactly. Here we go. People are cheering up for Bex. It's heartwarming to see. And then say you're trash. Did you? <laughs> I sent some. Uh, I sent some. Uh, some salt here. <laughs> Gas explosion. Okay, here we go. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, okay, Megu on the verge of take. Okay, actually resorting to use it. Bex, get my point back. Oh my lord, okay, Bex hurt to actually grab while in uh, block stun. While uh, his opponent was in block stun, this is unfortunate. Okay, here we go. Again with. Oh! Megu trying to uh, snaps right there. Unfortunately, couldn't quite get anything off of it. Again, the jumping HS. Uh, well, going right through the, the 6P from uh, from Bex. Okay, here we go. As uh, Megu has stated before, this is a run back. Oh, and the the DP bait. The bur oh, Yeah, unfortunately for him, couldn't quite get anything off it. And again, the DP and this time around, this should be enough. Oh, and again, the burst bait. Very well played by uh, Bex. Actually manages to put, uh, to take the first match. Very nicely done. Let's see if this trend continues. Lord, that was explosive, man. That was so explosive. Who is going to be able to make their way to the grand final and face Yamase the Jacko God? You got this, bro. Okay, I can see a lot of cheers for Megu in the chat. This is heartwarming. Get on to the second battle. Oh, and the far HS for the hit. Couldn't quite get anything off of it. Oh, okay, Megu trying to really fish for something by using the two HS right there. And just like this, gets counter hit by Biggs. This is unfortunate for him. Here we go. The pressure is real. Again with the jumping HS4. The opening has been working so good for him, by the way. Oh, that 6 HS counter hit definitely did it. Hit it still. Oh, my lord. It's really good with the conversion. Just like this, Bex actually manages to take it. Very nicely done. But it's not over till it's over. Oh, the run up and pressure from Bex. This has been working a lot for him, by the way. He's gonna get the conversion with the vortex and the wall grab. The, the wall grab, the wall break. I need to stop saying wall grab. I don't know why I'm saying it. <laughs> oh, and just walking straight, man. It's crazy. It's squishy. Exactly. It's it's squishy. It's 5k privileges. 8k point of pressure. Of pure pressure. Exactly, man. And just like this, Megan manages to. Oh, get the wall break. Ah, these these run up, uh, these run up, um, what's it called uh, block from Bex have been freaking scary as hell. And here we go with the ram slam from Megu, but couldn't get an open down unfortunately for him. Bex takes a sizable lead right now, two matches to Neil. I lost the rest. Not so good at gambling. <laughs> it's okay, man. You win some, you lose some. And very nicely done by Bex. Takes a sizable lead right there. 2-0 to zero against Megu. Is Megu going to be able to bring it back? We shall see. Megu needs to win two straight matches back-to-back -back if, if he wants to stay alive. <clears throat> and here we go. On to the potential final battle of this set. Yeah, Megu couldn't, can't really quite find any opening and again the burst baited successfully by Beggs very nicely done and yeah just Beggs smothering Megu with all of this this violence man <laughs> oh my lord and the, yeah the schmixes are there 
the double overhead bite, not overhead, but the double jump attack bite. Uh, Bex using the RC to open up Megu. Here we go, pushes Megu ever so slightly in the corner. Megu using the Rekka. Oh my lord, and Bex just grabbing Megu out of the Rekkas. This is actually a legit thing, you should definitely uh, know about this if you're fighting Ram. Oh, here we go with the tick throw. Very nicely done by Megu again with the throw. Oh my lord, also almost got another oh, grab. Oh, when the badly timed throw right there from Megu. Badly timed pressure. And you throw me, I can throw you as well. What you can do, I can do better. Aggressive pressure. Exactly. Exactly. Aggressive pressure. Smothering him with aggressive pressure. <laughs> You'll talk about the anti salt tick, please. I will not. <laughs> How this will pan out. Oh, I forgot to add the uh, winners and losers. Anyways, here we go. It's going to be Yamase against Bex. Really looking forward to this one. Let's see. Add. Right. Second, there we go. Yep. So Yamase is in the winner's side and Bex is in the loser's side. So Bex needs to win two sets back to back if he wants to win this tournament. There we go. Very nice start of the round by Bex actually manages to open. Yamase forces the burst and he himself has still the burst. Okay, very nice throw from Yamase. Oh, manages to open up Bex and forces the Burst upon him. Uh, yeah, very nice use of the the balls to try to, uh, well, to to um to control the neutral and just like this, Yamase is gonna take the first round. Really, really well played. Dual two. Okay, on to the next match. Oh, here we go. Nice check from Bex. Couldn't quite get anything off of it. Oh, here we go with Bex noticing that Yamase is definitely using the guard point to try to prevent his. Uh, his, um, well, his, uh, his pressure rave simply. Here we go with the Tyrant Rave. This is gonna do a lot of damage. I really thought I was gonna kill. And here we go. With the pressure. What song is this? Lindsay Ellis? <laughs> My lord. Yeah, just, uh... Just, um... A small uh, request from my part: when you use, um, when you use uh, what's it called song request, please refrain from using, uh, from inputting copyrighted songs, please. And uh, please try to stick to um, what's it called. Please try to stick to uh, what's it called to um, uh, video game songs if it's possible. This is like the safest, uh, the safest way. But anyways, that being said, uh, we are on to the third. Round the one who takes this will definitely uh, have a great boost uh, of for his momentum. And here we go, just like this Yamase pushing every Bex ever so slightly into the corner. Yeah, man, the, oh my lord, the pressure has been relentless, man. Okay, here we go with oh my lord, and Yamase even managing to like 6p him very nicely done. Oh, okay, that aerial grab was crazy good. And Yamase definitely... Oh, okay, here we go with... Bex trying to use the Vortex to try to, you know, snap Yamase out of the air, but Yamase not willing to take any of it. Very nicely done. Manages to take the first match. Hopefully, for Bex, he is going to find a way to reverse the tendency, reverse the, uh, the momentum. We shall see, hopefully, for him. And on to the second match. Here we go. Okay, on to the next match. Let's see if Bex is going to adapt. Oh my lord, and just a simple jump in counter hit from Bex. Oh, and the delayed pressure right there. I really liked it a lot. Managed to actually punish the uh, the tech attempt, attempt from Yamase. And the wild throw for the win. This is going to be a quick first round. Very nicely done by Bex. With the perfect the statement. That was crazy good. Hmm. Okay, here we go with the... Uh, the cross-up uh, successful attempt by Yamase. Very nicely done. Forces the burst. Oh, 
Oh, again, here we go. The pressure is real and very nice recognition of Big Stat. Uh, Yamase was uh, taking to the air and just six pieces him out of it. Uh, oh my lord. <laughs> it looked a lot like a teabag, but it definitely wasn't. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, and the 5HS has been working so good for Yamase. Oh, and the pick up, the conversion, the near conversion from Yamase actually manages to open his opening up and manages to take the second round of this, this match. Let's see how it pans out. Violence, freeze violence. Okay, here we go with the minion here to save the day. Manages to get a conversion off of it. Gonna get the wall break. Didn't get the tension bar in time to get the overdrive. But it's okay, here we go. Very nice grab from Yamase and the far HS counter hit. Okay, here we go with Yamase just using the minions. Uh, pressure to like. Yeah, oh! Oh my lord, and yet again the wake up overdrive with Yamase finds the hit and takes it home. Very nicely done. Yamase 2 to Neil. As of now, is Yamase going to be our next Brojo Cup champion? We shall see. Damn, Yamase on fire tonight, man. Definitely feeling it. Definitely feeling himself. Is he gonna be able to take the theoretical gold back home? I insist on the theoretical. There is no winning prize for winning this tournament. Just glory, and glory is definitely reason enough. <laughs> no, I'm not finding excuses. What are you talking about? Here we go. 5HS counter hit. Very nicely done. Again, Yamase trying to grab Bex. Oh, my lord. And the, oh, the double 5HS, man. This move has been working so good for Yamase, man. Here we go, air to air by Yamase. Okay, trying to bait them uh, fighting. Not that fight, they're what? They're DP. Again, the 5 HS, the double 5 HS into the. The overdrive. This is going to do a lot of damage. Nice confirm from Yamase. Very nicely done. Oh, and the empty throw into the. Quick dust for the perfect. Very nicely done. Just like this, we're on tournament point for Yamase. Man, he's on fire. Is he going to take it back? But Bex definitely not want to just give up. He wants it, he wants to stay. He wants to remain in this tournament and bring the gold back home as well. Here we go, but Yamase out of the corner. This is dangerous zone for Bex. Very nice use of the uh, bended revolver to close the gap and... Oh my lord, and do it. Oh, and the aerial grab by Bex. You wanted to get out, I called you out. Here you go, very nice. Uh, but still on tournament point for Yamase. Is, uh, are the nerves going to catch him? Okay, here we go. Ah. Okay, very nice done. Oh, yeah, very nice stuff by Bex. He's really finding a nice rhythm to try to punish, not punish, but kill the minions as soon as they're spawned. Here we go, the Bandit Bringer. Ah, and uh, yeah, I'm also afraid of two up pressing buttons because possibly uh, Bex was wanted to uh, DP right after his Bandit Bringer. Okay, and just like this, actually. Oh, okay. Yamase yeah, finally had the emergency burst. Okay, here we go. Yamase. Oh, he was definitely unsafe there. Ah, Yamase, yeah. Uh, get, it really, really wants to get out of the corner, but yeah, Big's definitely not willing to let him have any sort of comeback right there. Very nicely done by Big's. Definitely uh, strong mental right there. He was down one round, but managed to bring it back, man. That was crazy good. Very nicely done. D tournament is still not over. Two to one. Yamase just needs one more match to uh, take it home, whereas Bex needs to win this one and the next to reset the bracket. So let's see how this pans out. But yeah, very, very strong uh, competitors today, man. The, the level of today's tournament has been extremely high. I'm very, very pleased. I am pleased. <laughs> okay, let's see how this pans out. Okay, there you go. The server round with a 6P by Yamase. Couldn't quite get anything out of it. Let's go! Ça va bien, Cybercat, comment tu go? And here we go with Yamase trying to, yeah, to uh, vary his approach. Yo! Yo, Roy Lannister! Ça va bien? If we go to 5HS counter hit, very, very big counter hit again. Aerial counter hit from Yamase. Uh, ah, and unfortunately for Bex, he wasn't able to get the conversion and the recognition finally forces the burst from Yamase. And very nice. Jumping HS. This is gonna be a wall break. Very nicely done by Bex. 
Thank you very much for the follow, Roy Lannister. Merci beaucoup pour le follow, Roy Lannister. And welcome to the bridge. And here we go on with the pressure from Bex. Definitely wants, does not want to be down one round, especially now since it's going to be tournament point. Oh, very nice recognition from Yamase. Yamase, who definitely pondered on whether or not he should let the overdrive rip. Here we go, but we are in a favorable position from Yamase and again on match point, not match point, tournament point for Yamase. Is Bex going to bring it back yet again? Saving this ball as well. Oh, here we go. The 5 HS. The, the, the 4 HS for the counter hit. Oh, here we go. The bended revolver follow up for the punish. And Yamase takes this advantage. It takes the opportunity of Bended Ringer to get out of the corner. Try to bait the burst, unfortunately. Uh, well, Biggs didn't bite yet. But now Biggs doesn't have any type of resource. And here we go with the overdrive. Bex is going to be exponentially closer to death. This is only... Yeah, this is so, so, so tight. And the Vortex for the uh, the chase, man. And very nicely done by Bex. He's going to get mad pressure. And the air to air for the win. Yamase is the new...